I've been working with leather for almost 20 years now. It's a wonderfully versatile material which seems to work with the hands. I'm Simon, a master craftsman here at Mackenzie Leather, Edinburgh. I've been with this company since uh, 2002. I apprenticed here at, a, at an early age through three years of, of progression and training. Uh, the opportunity came to, to take over and, and buy the business and, and here we are to, to the present day. The last few years has been a has been a great challenge here but as with any challenges uh, we, we take a, a new opportunity and uh, we, we've used the time uh, proactively here so we've worked on that to-do list so we've uh, done some new products that we haven't had the, the normal time to do and we've brushed up on some training and we've got a lot of stock this year so you know there's no point looking backwards just looking forwards. Here at McKenzie's we take great pride in what we do. Our approach is quality over quantity any day. You know we manage everything that we, we produce here. We're involved in the entire process. We inspect our hides, everything is hand cut, everything is hand produced. There's a small team of, of three of us. We're all working together. We're making family heirlooms here. We're making heritage pieces. You know, our, our products are made to last. We're not a mass producing factory. We make individual orders. You know, when we are making stock, we're making very small numbers so we can assure the quality of what we do. We're not rushing things, we're taking our time. Everything has you know, attention to detail. You know, we're making investments. We're making pieces that last for lifetimes. Sometimes what is quite amusing um, is, and this is especially during the, the, the summer times or the peak times, when the festival, the Fringe Festival is on, where we're producing lots of stock, you know, quite often we'll be, we'll be working on a few, few items, let's say the, the Gladstonette, and we've got them in these fantastic colour combinations. Customers are coming in and they're seeing the processes of, uh, of us making these bags. Sometimes the bags are sold before they're even finished. You know, we have a customer who's so taken by one of our bags, during the making, it's not finished, I'm, I'm just going to have to have that bag. And then it's sold before it even makes it out to the shelf, so yeah, that makes us chuckle here. Pre, pre pocket. If a customer really wanted this bag, so it's like, right, we're going to take it apart, we're going to put the bits on and customize it for them because they really wanted this briefcase. We're perfectionists. If, if something's not right, we do it again. So, you know, you could be working on an item for a, a day or two and then a, a mistake happens and you can't fix it, you know, because when it's made to perfection, if something's done incorrectly and it's not necessarily that you've done something wrong, just the material might behave in a certain way or the machine does something unexpectedly, then you're going to have to start again because you can't, you can't fix a problem with, you know, if there's a defect in the material or something like that, you know, so that would be potentially one of the worst you know well I suppose our whole ethos here at Mackenzie's is um, you know keeping a tradition alive a dying tradition in a way um, but Scotland is full of tradition so for us it's really important to, to maintain a, a living skill and to be able to pass this on also you know there's so much more quality assurance you can you can rely on it you can it's even shopping local shopping small you can you can come into the shop you can have that customer service you can have that that assurance that you're investing in a product which is for life so you can always come back to the person who made it and you know they can they can maybe tell you off for not feeding it they can help you maintain it they can do some odd repairs if need be after 10 15 20 years you know, so keeping a tradition alive is, is really important.
I was always incredibly creative. And, uh, you know, I excelled in art and I excelled in anything to do with drawing or, or anything to do with your hands. And I was just, uh, I was incredibly fortunate to be able to find my thing that I was good at, you know. So uh, my advice to any, any younger self or, or any young folk out there who, who don't really know what to do, go out there and, and, and just try all, all these different things and something will click. You never know if you don't try. The leather we use uh, here is predominantly um, uh, veg tan leather. Um, there's a few reasons why. I think the main reason is purely it, it is by far the most superior leather that you can get. You know, this then splits off for, for a few fundamental reasons. Um, it ages incredibly well. So, you know, a lot of your commercial leathers, they, they fade. They don't really, or, or they don't change too much. Whereas, you know, veg tan leather creates a, a patina better with age, you know. Um, another very important reason is it's ecologically sound. None of the tannins are wasted. Everything is recycled and reused. So in today's society, it's, that's incredibly important. Again, commercial tanning, one tanning, one use disposed of. Going back to veg tanners, it's an age-old tradition, so it's almost like we're returning, or have we ever left, the, this, this process of tanning, but very important to us, very, very important. Here at, here at our shop on uh, St. Mary Street, again, we take, we take great pride in what we do. So our workshop is in the shop. If you want to come down and, and, and see us at work, please just feel free. There's always something interesting going on, and you're very welcome. Thank you.